believe and this one's gonna be We are back on Fight News Now Live and it's time to throw things over to Robin Black. Ryan LaFleur may be putting the welterweight division under siege, but he steps on deadly ground later tonight. <laughs> Thanks, John. In the black eye, I try to shine a light on some of the more technical aspects of martial arts in hopes of illuminating some of the beauty of combat. To that end, let's focus in on rising UFC contender Ryan LaFleur and look at the modern breed of top UFC combatants and how they compare to the warriors that paved the way for them. If we credit Hoist Gracie and Dan Severin and with being the pioneers, we must say that men like Pat Miletic and Boss Rutten, with their combining of disciplines, were the 2.0 era of fighters. After that came the 3.0s, the Matt Hughes's through the George St. Pierre's, fully evolved athletes who combined different skills into the ultimate fighting style we now call MMA. We, we are now reaching another stage of the evolutionary path of the modern mixed martial artist, and we are seeing exponential upgrades on an almost monthly basis. Let's look at the prototype of the modern 4.0 athlete. Hit me with the viz. The 4.0 fighter is a fully formed fighting machine. They have access to all of the knowledge, all of the skills, and all of the training and technology that it took their predecessors 25 years to acquire through trial and error. They take their upgraded physicality and limitless skills and combine them in ways we've never seen before and apply them in explosive displays of conflict. Ryan LaFlair is one of these athletes. A 4.0 with off the chart attributes and dynamic technical skill. Ryan LaFlair is the complete modern fighter. Bigger, stronger, faster. Ryan LaFlair, like all the 4.0 models, has the full and complete skill set. He seamlessly transitions through the different phases of combat with ease, built from the ground up to be a multi faceted threat. Ryan LaFlair is a 4.0. One of the amazing things about the 4.0 fighter is that although they all come fully equipped and completely evolved, each one is built with individual en enhancements that make them unique. Let's take a look at a few of the upgrades in the Ryan LaFlair model. Hit me with the viz. Oh yeah, we know Ryan LaFlair is a 4.0. We know what he's capable of. He's a fully evolved athlete. But there are some specific upgrades that he's had, and we have to start with his weaponry. We look, his piston knees, his armored shins, and he is programmed with excellent combinations that he uses in a variety of ways to trick you. Check it right here as he just unloads with his combinations. These are pre-programmed combinations. Loves to finish with that knee, loves to soften up the body. In fact, he uses body shots almost twice as much as the average fighter. 20% of all his shots are body shots, often with that knee and often with that shin. Sure, the weaponry is important. He's got the combinations, the shins and the knees, but it isn't just the weaponry. It's how you use the weaponry, how you apply the weaponry and that is his central processing unit, his brain. He has precision timing. He can uh, be spontaneous with just the switch, but it is his broken rhythms that are fascinating. He fights with broken rhythms. I'm gonna snap my finger here in a 4-4. Four, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. See how he's not fighting with that rhythm. Now I'm gonna snap in his way, watch. See, he's fighting with a broken rhythm. He's not giving your standard 4-4 four, four beat. It's not a 7 16 it's a Ryan LaFlair rhythm, and it's very hard to prepare for because he gives you shots in different timing. Watch, ding, ding, watch here. Off the knee, the little hook, weird little timing right there. Beautiful timing, this guy, and as he backs up, draws you in, kick, he will back up again as you move forward, and off time, straight left hand, one of his best weapons. Yeah, this guy is good. Ryan told us earlier that he would not fear going to the ground with Damian Maya. Not only do I believe him, I think there's a very good chance that LaFlair will actually initiate some takedowns to keep Maya guessing, to open up extra striking opportunities. If he does, he certainly has some key attributes and upgrades that will come into play. Hit me with that viz. All right, how is this man built? Why is he such a good wrestler? It all starts with his core, his chassis. This guy has aftermarket acceleration upgrades. He accelerates through takedowns. He explosively changes direction in takedowns, but it is his body lock, that power clamp, that is the key. Watch this elbow. 
perfectly executed. Double turns the corner, changes direction. Beautiful stuff. The single, most people don't even use it. This guy gets away with it whenever he chooses. But it is this body lock that I love with the trip behind it. That is a very, very high percentile takedown. He executed excellently. He has a great body lock. He gets to it so quickly and so easily. As you come forward into him with a slight adjustment, he comes forward, locks you up, and he takes you down with the trip. And the best part about this, as it relates to Damian Maya, he lands in side control. He passes and ends up in side control. You do not want to be in Maya's guard. If this man takes him down, he'll be inside. Sure, the chassis is important. That's a key right here. But it isn't, again, the weapons. It's how you use them. And this guy has some very special upgrades in the old brain, the noggin, the CPU. Uh, that's right, he has an advanced vestibular apparatus. Robin Black, what are you going on about? Well, that is that thing in the inner ear that allows you to be able to tell up from down. It uh, allows you to balance. And because of that, he has that cat writing reflex. He always ends up on his feet, always. Watch this right here, gets reversed, boom, right to his feet, belly down immediately. It's impressive how often he does it. This man always knows which way is up. He always knows where the surface of the water is and he swims to the top. Look at that one, that is unbelievable. He does it over and over again. It's a key to his game, it's a key to his wrestling, and it's a key to his ground game. We could show you tons here. You catch a kick on him, watch. Against Court McGee right here, immediately reverses the position like a cat, that cat writing reflex right back up to his feet. He does it over and over again right here. Watch this one. Belly down, turn, comes up with that single underhook right back to his feet. It's magic the way this guy does it. It's impressive. And even when you hurt him, watch right here. Boom. Dropped right away like a cat right back to his feet. This is going to be important against Damian Maya. Oh, baby, this is a great fight. That's our look at Ryan LaFlair going into the main event tonight. I'm excited to see how he does against the lion of the division like Damian Maya. I hope you're as excited about the 4.0 era as I am. Hit me up on Twitter. Tell me what you think and who you think some of the other 4.0s are. Thank you so much for taking this look at the modern 4.0 fighter prototype with me. And thank you so much for joining me in the black eye. Enjoy the hostilities, my friends.